this patient was referred to me for endodontic retreatment of tooth number 30. So take a look here. According to the patient, the root canal was done a few years ago by her previous dentist. All right, so um, patient said tooth sometimes, sometimes bother her. You can see there's a crown, prefab metal post here, previous root canal, overextended, got a percha, forcation involvement, and periapical lucencies. Also, as you can see right here, there was a sinus tract associated with the tooth as well. Right there, that's the tooth. And you can see small, small buccal parulus and sinus tract associated with the tooth. The tooth probed two to four millimeters with BOP all around. So I want you to tell me why this root canal has failed, what's the reason for this root canal to have failed? Is it because of the overextended gutter percha? Is the overextension of the gutter percha caused this endodontic treatment to fail? Or perhaps maybe there is another reason for the endodontic failure. I want you to do comment, make your comments. And uh, let's see, let's see what, uh, what, what you guys think. This is the same patient. And this is tooth number 19 now again, the same dentist who had done tooth number 30. Also had done tooth number 19 root canal. So you can see again, crown, previous root canal, lucency here and here. Tooth number 20, root canal looks fine, no lucencies, but you can see recurrent decay. So again, with this tooth, there is no overextension of gutter percha, but this root canal has also failed. So tell me why do you, th why you think this root canal, this root canal has failed.